SOLIDWORKS PDM has powerful new capabilities that allow your design team to stay organized and informed while keeping your projects on time and on budget. Simple and super convenient, hovering over the logon profile picture now gives you access to the presence note. The presence note informs other users of your activity for the day. And if you want to know what your teammates are doing, simply hover your mouse over their username and see what others are working on. Switching between the bitmap preview and the fully interactive viewer is now more discoverable. You can easily switch by clicking this button. And highly requested, the full desktop user interface of eDrawings is now embedded into the preview tab with access to things like the measure tool, and the component design tree complete with interactive cross-highlighting of the parts. All of this now in a familiar layout. To keep the costs down, we encourage the reuse of data whenever possible. After all, you've already done that work. Here, we need a new ultralight deck plate for this design. Enter Exalead One Part, which can now be incorporated directly into the PDM professional interface. Exalead is a powerful search and discovery application that gives you deeper insight into your data than you probably thought was possible. It not only searches by traditional metadata, but it can also search by geometric similarity. Amazing! Comparing these three part documents side by side allows us to choose the design with the least amount of weight. And then we can open it directly into SOLIDWORKS where we can complete the assembly design without having to recreate a part. No assembly change is complete without opening and updating the drawing. Now in PDM 2022, you can right mouse click and open the drawing regardless of where the drawing is located within the vault. This is huge. In addition, the command has also been added to the right mouse menu in the PDM add-in. PDM 2022 has also improved Vault administration by consolidating the Users and Groups node inside of the PDM administrative tool. The User Property card has also enjoyed an update as well. Profile pictures are now imported directly for Active Directory users, and there are more fields available than ever. In the Group Properties card, the administrator can now overwrite the group name with a more descriptive one. Ensuring company standards is a key piece of what PDM provides. PDM 2022 has the ability to block the transition of drawings that have been saved in detailing mode. In addition to that, a new variable has also been added for drawings to indicate whether they've been saved in detailing mode. And as is with all other variables, it can be utilized on a data card. Neutral files have long been a staple of design communication. New in Web 2 is the ability to fully preview things like STEP, IGES, Parasolid, STL, ASIS, and JT neutral files, all within the eDrawings viewer. There's now a convenient administrative function to customize the data card visible on the Web 2 interface. Here we see the project name and the project number visible, but a new setting on the PDM administrative tool allows us to show or hide this in the web card. What's more is that a full web card editor has been added, which enables us to customize names that would otherwise show the system variable. And a new tree mode within this editor that allows administrators to drag and drop the variables wherever they like. A quick save and refresh, and we see our changes with new user controls, search integrations, and preview abilities, it's easier than ever to get maximum productivity out of SOLIDWORKS PDM.